Well, Sean Young, a movie star best known for films like Blade Runner and No Way Out, makes her stage debut on Monday in a new play at the Actors Temple Theater off Broadway. Young has appeared in dozens of movies and TV shows since fame came, but a reputation for being outspoken hurt her in Hollywood, and she spent most of the 1990s in Arizona raising two sons with her husband. Here's entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon. Sean Young was just 20 years old when stardom came thanks to a memorable appearance opposite Harrison Ford in Blade Runner. Is this testing whether I'm a replicant or a lesbian, Mr. Deckard? When the movie came out in 1982, Young was living here in the city. It would be people waiting outside my, the doorman door in my building and I would be like, oh my God. Today, she's back in Manhattan as a performer playing a performer. Come in here. In Ode to the Wasp Woman, the title character is very real. And Susan Cabot was a particularly tragic person. Young is not tragic, but she certainly has had her share of challenges. You gotta be prepared for fame. Or if you're not, it can have, it can have uh, damaging or, or difficult uh, effect on you. Hello. Small parts in movies like Wall Street led to No Way Out. <laughs> she starred opposite Jim Carrey as Ace Ventura and Matt Dillon in A Kiss Before Dying. And while Young may have fallen off the A-list, <laughs> she has still managed to work steadily. I've honestly been completely grateful the whole time. And if I wasn't, People knew it. <laughs> that was no laughing matter, as it turned out. She's very honest. And I think when you're honest in an industry like Hollywood, you could step on some landmines. Under Ryder McDowell's guidance, such minds are a distant memory now. What would you like to tell your younger self? that you oh, know now yeah. that you... Shut your mouth. <laughs> That's what I tell her. Be quiet. Yeah, I still haven't learned that.